Morning, Peter Rosey here from Foundation Expo Radio YouTube channel and we've come in this morning, uh, early January, to talk to Terry Beckley in relation to the latest addition to the Brisbane Tennis Trail, the John Millman Rebound Ball. Stay tuned. Currently on, what better time to recognise the fertile ground this city is when it comes to producing top tennis players? You might not know this, but we actually have a Brisbane Tennis Trail. It's a map that lists tennis points of interest right across the city. It includes locations such as courts, amphitheatres, parks that are named after current and late great tennis greats. Pretty soon there's going to be another attraction added to that trail. A bit of a breath exclusive. We've got Peter Racy here, who's the founder of the trail, to tell us about it. Peter, good morning. Good morning, Terry, and can I say uh, Happy New Year to the listeners and just congratulate you personally on what a great job you did on the outside broadcast for the unveiling of the Expo 88 Australia signs up at Caboolture. That was the breakfast team, they can all take a, the, a bow for that, but uh, it was a lot of fun that day, a lot of uh, listener interest in that as well. We, we certainly had a good year last year in terms of those sorts of engagements with the community. But tell us about the tennis trial before you give it all away, just explain how it came about. Well, actually, funny enough, the work that I was doing for the Lord Mayor for the Expo 88 uh, touchstones uh, led to the realisation that a lot of the memory uh, points in Brisbane had disappeared. There was nothing on the Brisbane streets for the Commonwealth Games. Uh, the Stefan Racket had disappeared. Mm. Uh, the Morris Boot, while it hadn't disappeared, it had gone out to, you know, never, never land out at uh, Gibby Road. Um, and it was obvious to the Lord Mayor and myself that the Expo 88 things were disappearing. So we set about trying to save those. And at the same time, it then became obvious that there was an opportunity to put back up on public display the Stefan Racket due to his extraordinarily generous gift to the, uh, to the city. Mm -hmm. And that then led to the naming of the Roy Emerson Tennis Centre, to the Daphne Fancut Amphitheatre, to the and then the history of it all started to bubble to the surface, courtesy of uh, a Q150 person, Hugh Lunn. Mm -hmm. uh, and Hugh was just in my ear constantly. You know, we need to do this, Ken Fletcher Park, Ken Fletcher Bust. And so all of these things just slowly but surely started to emerge. Um, and this year, uh, a really great guy, who I met last night, funny enough, uh, John Millman. Time to drop the name, yep. John Millman. John Millman. And what a great individual he is. I mean, the first game that he played uh, in this uh, series against Samarin, I mean, that was a fantastic game, and he came back and blitzed uh, in that last set. Uh, and then he followed it up yesterday uh, against Dimitrov, mm. and it, the scoreline didn't really, I don't think, portray the effort that he put in, but he put his heart and soul into it. And then last night, on centre court at 6.30, and I wasn't there, I was across the road talking about the next great that we're going to be introducing into the trial, yep. Ashley Cooper, with uh, two Tennis uh, Australia directors who've taken an interest, and uh, he was presented with the award, the tribute, on centre court, uh, and you know the sign sitting out there at uh, the Carindale Recreation okay. Reserve. Yes, yeah, so let's explain this just a little bit further. So John Millman who uh, unfortunately went down and, and is out of the Brisbane International but put up a good fight last night. He is now featured in the tennis trail yep. across Brisbane. What is it that has well, the plaque on? So the, there's a digital map, uh, a formal Brisbane City Council web page. If people Google Brisbane tennis trail, up will pop the tennis map and it's got fricker pictures of the various tributes there. It's got an interactive map, so you can get the exact address. Yep. And if you've got Google Maps activated, you can actually find the place. Uh, and then it's got descriptions of the various Everything. tributes. And it's because and what it's used for is a huge postcard. So the tennis Brisbane International um, directors use it to email off to all over the world, saying what great history Brisbane has. It's a place that loves tennis come to the Brisbane International. And now, one of the latest features on that map is the John Millman rebound wall. Exactly, and it's one of the best. I mean, they're all good. What's a rebound wall? Just a well, it's the, it's the practice wall where young kids in the main 
just get the hit of tennis ball against it. But it can also be used for soccer. I mean, anything where you want to whack a ball against the wall yep. called a rebound wall. And so where is this rebound wall? At the recrea Carindale Recreation Reserve, and it's very close to the Westfield uh, Indrapilly Shopping Centre at Carindale. So easy to find. Take your racket and your ball and go hit your ball against the John Millman rebound wall. Finally, Peter, what did John say when you said to him, we want to dedicate this rebound wall to you, sir? It's not my role, actually. It forms <laughs> into the role of a deputy Lord Mayor to actually undertake that. So I don't actually know what he, what was said, but I do know last night he was incredibly appreciative to the people of Brisbane for being such loyal supporters to him. And he's just such a wonderful fellow. And he's still in the Brisbane International. He's still playing doubles. That's right. He's yeah. in the doubles. So he might be out of the singles, but he's, uh, his tour isn't finished yet at the Brisbane International. No. So Google uh, the Brisbane Tennis Trail yep. and you'll find that interactive map where you can look at all the spots across the city. It goes from Bracken Ridge, Yeronga, out to Brookfield. Many places on that uh, either have amphitheatres, uh, parks or rebound walls uh, in honour of some of our tennis greats. And, and a park bench. And even a park bench. Tennis Avenue, uh, Tennis Avenue, uh, Tennis Avenue Park. And that was recognised last year for the great Mel Anderson, a really great gentleman. Yeah, well, and so is John Millman. And now you can head along to the John Millman Rebound Wall. It's at Carindale. You can indeed. Excellent, Peter. Thank you for coming in and telling us about that. And uh, enjoy, continue to enjoy the Brisbane International. And stay tuned for what the Lord Mayor is doing in relation to bringing back the memory of the Commonwealth Games. You'll be gobsmacked. Love your tease. You should be behind the mic on this side of the desk. Peter, thank you. Peter Racy, he is the founder of the Tennis Trailer Interactive Map across Brisbane and news last night that John Millman has now a rebound wall named after him. Let's check the roads.